There are so many beautiful succulent plants in this world. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you the steps so that you can know how to paint them. Did you know that the blue agave plant is used to make tequila in Mexico? And it's a succulent. I really love the look of the blue agave glow plant. You can use these steps to paint your own succulent or you can paint this one along with me. We're gonna start with using our wash brush and adding white to the middle part of our canvas. Add any color you would like to your background. So I'm going to use purple because this is my favorite color. It needs to be a light background and I'm just going to add it. As far as creativity goes, I really hope that you choose your favorite color for the background. We want to let this background dry before we go on to the next step. Now we want to sketch the succulent plant onto our surface. I like to use a watercolor pencil for that so that I can erase any lines that I don't want. This is going to be a lot easier for you if you have a picture of your succulent. I also have a lesson plan that goes along with this lesson that has a full tutorial for you and it includes a traceable. This next step is so easy because all we're gonna do is we're gonna follow those lines that we just created in our sketch and we're gonna paint those lines. So I'm using the tip of this round brush to create the line and I go over all my lines with that teal color. Whatever the main color is in your succulent, that's the color that you want to use to go over all of your lines. Now you're going to fill in the leaves on your succulent and this is where a reference photo comes in really handy and you can get that in my art lesson plan that I have that goes along with this. You can also look at the reference of your own succulent and what you're looking for is the dark versus light areas. So I'm going to use my darkest colors for the dark areas and they don't have to match perfectly, they just need to be dark. And then I'm going to use the lightest colors for the light areas on my leaves. And then sometimes they have a lot of colors in between. And you can use green or blues or purples, whatever the colors are in your succulents. And you can use white to lighten that color to create the highlights. You can add black to your color to create the shadow color. Or you can just use a different color that's in the middle. The purpose of this is so that you can separate each leaf. It's really important. You can use the outline of the leaves so you can outline it with a lighter color or a darker color if that's what you see in your reference photo. I'm going to use all three things in my painting to separate my leaves. I'm going to use different color values. That's the dark versus the light. I'm going to use different colors. So maybe green versus blue or blue versus purple and that will separate them. And I'm also gonna line the outside of the leaves to help me separate them. And in my plant, the agave plant, glow one, has color on the outside of the leaves and it looks really cool. So I'm gonna line it with red or orange or yellow, maybe even purple and it's gonna make the outside of the leaves pop out and look really cool. And it follows the glow or the agave glow plant that I am painting today. And I really want this to be a colorful painting. Sometimes though, you don't have the same style as me. And so you may want this to be a little bit less colorful or it's following your design of your own succulent plant. So you can go ahead and make changes. Did you find this helpful? There are so many things that you can learn to become a better artist and I love to share them with you. And if you love to paint, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell next to it and you'll get more videos like this one. You can also get the full one hour workshop that has art lessons with it. Become a Create Floor Art member where you can have access to my acrylic painting course. So whatever you need, I'm here to help you relax, get creative and learn how to paint. The next step is the most important. It's where the painting comes together and just starts to look finished and really good. In this step, we add in the final details and we do that according to our own personal preferences. So I'm going to add some colors that when I look back, I think it needs to be added. I will blend, so go over the areas that I feel like have choppy brush strokes. I'll blend by adding another layer over it and just adding a little paint to my brush so I can see the colors underneath it. 
I will also add any outlining that I think it needs. So I've outlined some of my leaves with some white and added some other colors in there. And I just look back and it's really important to look back at your painting and if there's anything that bothers you, fix it. If you think that it needs something additional, add it. And that's how you can make a painting look good to you even though we have different styles because of course everyone's different and we may be painting different succulent plants. So whatever succulent plant that you are wanting to paint, these are the steps to painting that succulent plant. And I hope that you learned a lot from this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and let me know and I will answer that. Don't forget that you can get the full workshop or the lesson plan that goes along with this lesson and it includes more to help you paint along. If you are just beginning, then those lessons are really going to help you out so you can be successful with your painting. Okay, so once you are happy with your painting, that means you are done and you can go ahead and sign your work when you're done. Would you like to learn more about how to paint? These videos right over here are going to help you with that. I have hundreds of tutorials on YouTube and lessons to help you learn how to paint. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get the new ones. And I'll see you in my next video.